What's up guys, Brandon here for Maven Monday, and today I want to give you three tips for getting more leads out of your website. Now, what I'm about to show you has literally changed the profitability of entire marketing campaigns, um, in some cases making hundreds of thousands of dollars of the difference in revenue. And I'm just going to use a very simple snippet from a page that we um, have recently created, although truth be told, this is a, this is a pretty go-to formula for us. Uh, I've never taught this for free. We have people that pay us a lot of money to produce the type of result I'm about to show you. Um, but what we want to remember is that a lead is a person with a need. Somebody who comes to your website is not there to give you their information in their own language. They are there to get answers. They are there to uh, because they want to be in control of the process. They are not ready to talk to you yet or otherwise they would have called you. So there's a reason they're at your website in the first place. And the tip that I want to give you, actually three tips. Um, one is to be extremely uh, customer centric with your call to action and you, this could change based on your product but um, so many times uh, websites use the default learn more or um, schedule an estimate or contact us button and that is very 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 seldom the thing that the customer actually wants to do they want to do something like um, get a price or they want to um, take actual an actual next step in their mind and so the key is to formulate that button um, to something that is more in their mind not in your mind because they didn't come here to contact you if they wanted to contact you they would have done that before they got to your site but if you give them a reasonable next step something that is a little bit more uh, a baby step for them getting the information that they want then they very well may uh, be willing to give you their contact info as part of that process so one make the call to action extremely customer centric and right here we're talking about show me the numbers we don't say submit or we don't say learn more or something uh, general like that we give them very specific call to action second is make the process for doing business with you extremely clear um, that is that is how we lead this whole entire little part of this website is we give them a very clear uh, one two three about what's about to happen when you can take a very complex or scary subject like spending thousands of dollars on home improvement or any service that you offer and you can make that uh, seem like a simple step, you're going to win. And the third is be, uh, be willing um, to give value, to give value on your website before you actually um, get the contact or get the sale. And what that's gonna do is actually give them more control, okay? When they are in control of the situation, Remember, there's a reason they're at your website in the first place. Um, they feel more confident, they feel more trustworthy, and most people in most service categories don't do this. Uh, so uh, if you do that, especially in the age of, a, of, a, of the COVID-19, where everybody's like really conscious of um, doing things on the internet, uh, where they can't do business face-to-face -face as much, <clears throat> you're gonna come out ahead, you're gonna build trust, you're gonna have control of the um, or they're going to feel like they have control of the situation and they're going to call you, prefer you first. Those are the three tips. Make a very clear call to action that's in their language. Make the process for doing business with you, with you clear and then give them control in the sale. You will convert more leads and I predict that can make a huge impact on your business. Have a great day, guys.